When the first AD says, I need an apple box for the DP at Video Village, and Crafty needs a stinger. And, uh, grab me a handful of bullets. Do you have any idea what they just said? Should we be concerned? Maybe, but probably not for the reason you think. If you want to work on a film set, you've got to know the language. But you also have to understand some unspoken rules. And the thing about unspoken rules is they're unspoken. The only way to learn them is to break them, get it wrong, and get yelled at a lot. Or I could just tell you what some of the rules are. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Let's do that one. First, let's define some terms. The first AD is the first assistant director. Think of them as the traffic cop of set, and as a set PA, they are your boss. The DP is the director of photography. That's the head of the camera department. Video Village is where the monitors are all set up and everyone's watching the shots. An apple box is just a wooden box that we use for all kinds of things on set, including as an impromptu chair. And this is a stinger. It's an electrical cord. Crafty is craft services. They are the beloved people who provide snacks and beverages and caffeine to the crew between meals. And on set, this is a bullet. Yeah, I know, it's a closed pin. But don't tell anyone I said that, okay? On set, we call it a C-47, a CP-47, a PEG, ammo, a pin, all kinds of things. And they're used to clip diffusion to a hot light. I have no idea why the AD wants one, but they do. Okay, let's put it all together and get this done. Now, we're going to encounter three of those unspoken rules as we go through these tasks, and I will call them out as we go. Start by replying, copy that on it to the AD. That's your first step, and it's your first unspoken rule. Always reply to the AD when they call for something over radio. I've been told by more than one AD that if they've got a PA who is not consistently replying to them over radio, they'll just never hire them again. Next, let's go get that apple box and those bullets. But rule number two is never touch another department's stuff without asking. So we're going to ask a grip for these items. As an aside, how do we know to ask a grip instead of an electrician? They seem pretty similar. As a general rule, and in most cases, if it plugs in, ask an electrician. If it doesn't, ask a grip. Right, and on some sets, the grip would insist on taking these items to set themselves. But in this case, they're going to let you do the honors. So we're going to radio the AD and say, flying in with the apple box and your bullets, and then deliver those first two items. But don't linger at Video Village. It might not seem like a big deal to just stand there and watch the shots for a couple of minutes, but a PA hanging out at Video Village is a classic pet peeve on many sets. It's unspoken rule number three, and it is a sure way to get yelled at. And now, let's go ask an electrician for that stinger. They're probably going to take it to Crafty themselves, because electricians need to keep track on what's plugged in where. And believe me, there are plenty of unspoken rules around that. We'll talk about that in another video. For now, just be sure to close the loop and let the AD know that the tasks are done. I wonder what the AD wanted with all those bullets. Hmm.